Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest nigga on 2K in existence. And look, man, we got a new 2K23 feature. Y'all gonna let me know how you feel about it, man. But before we get into that, man, make sure y'all drop a like, man. It helps the vid out tremendously. Help your boy subscribe if you new. But let's get into a couple things before I show you the new 2K23 feature. So, young brother Jones tweeted out buff lockdowns in NBA 2K23. We want defense F them play shots, okay? Now, here's what I have to say about this. Offense doesn't need to be nerfed in any way. I know I know that messes with a lot of you old heads. I love you old heads. I am deemed an old head myself, okay? We're friends, but I'm just a cheesy old head. I'm an adapted one. I've always been a cheeser. I'm, I'm the new age old head, my boy. But look, guys, no offense needs to be nerfed in any way. In any way. Let that marinate in your soul. Dribbling should be crazy. All that. All the craziness from every 2K because that's what makes the 2K pop. And you want to play a pop in 2K? What needs to actually be touched is the defense. The defense needs to be overpowered and shit. Not just with lockdowns, defense in general. The paint defense. Niggas need to be <clears throat> on that shot. You know, the, the perimeter D, it needs to be 2K16-esque. Even, even 17 was such a trash game, but the 17 perimeter D compared to every 2K after was way better. The same way... 15 besides not being able to rip which is basically like every 2k now when how to dribble besides that bump steal shit but defense needs to be insane the perimeter d should be able to keep up with the offense it seems like the developers i don't know i guess they're too scared to buff the d because then niggas are gonna miss open layups they need a new system uh, like I, I, don't, I don't I don't I don't know bro but they need a new system they try to they try to make defense viable by nerfing offense and making it slower which is not how it should be bro fun gap equals skill gap skill gap equals speed gap if there's no speed gap and everyone's slow then you diminish the skill gap bro if you have like a slow playing game the skill gap's not that high if a game has like a lot of fastness to it and you know you have to make split decisions and do this and that and s then that that's the skill gap right we've got away from that you know 2k16 was one of the fastest 2ks compared to the ones now but guess what it had the best defense that that that's what needs to happen y'all let me know down below if you think they should buff lockdowns and just defense in general, man. We need more people to push for this narrative. Now, Stat Muse, the, these guys, man, they done tweeted out most active players, most points, right? I tweeted out a very unpopular opinion that I believe is a fact, man. You know, he's the second player with the most points that, that that's active right now, man. I, I think he's severely underrated, man. I think him not going to the Heat and winning those couple or three rings or even more because they would have been way better with Carmelo than Chris Bosh, bum ass. Uh, they would have been way better, bro. And um, it would have it would have changed his whole legacy. That this whole in the in whole NBA would be different right now. Now niggas getting put onto him, hating on him and shit. They don't really remember. Like I, I truly think he's the best one on one offensive player ever Just don't talk that dumb evolution bullshit shut that shit up bro. but y'all let me know who y'all think is the uh best one-on-one -on -one offensive player ever let, let me see if i got any viewers that also think carmelo is the best one-on-one -on -one player ever i mean you would have some amazing iq i haven't seen many people have that take man but i don't know man i i, I seen some things i ain't never seen in my life Back in his uh Denver Nugget days and all that, man. The them early Nick days, the crazy bro. Especially the Denver days, man. In in insanity. So Digital Henry tweeted out near the paint, I lose view of the perimeter. I don't really care. This is some camera stuff, right? Then he shows an example. Example of me losing the perimeter. I think a lot of you old heads play on cameras. I really do, bro. Because when I'm playing rec with you, I think a lot of people played on way too zoom. When I play with a lot of people, it's like I get wide open at the three. I'm open for like three, four seconds and they don't pass it. And 
it's either the nigga's like, like he's lacking, like he got like, he don't have enough ripples in his brain, like his brain's mo mostly smooth, or the nigga can't see me because his shit is so zoomed in. Stop playing on zoomed in cameras, bro. What the fuck is wrong with you people? Stop. I don't care what it look like. If you playing with team people, don't do that shit, bro. Zoom your shit out. Y'all let me know your favorite camera view, man. But look, Baluba replies to this. This is his most recent tweet. This is the new 2K23 feature. Spent some time working on this tonight, and I think I got the drive cam closer to what you're asking for. Hopefully, you like the changes. Thanks for the feed. So, Baluba sees this. Um, I suggest all the people that agree with my takes tweet at this nigga. But if you don't agree with my takes, do not tweet at this. Or, um, if I find out, say bye to your Twitter, my boy. That's how we move in Real Nigga Academy. <laughs> he tweets out, Why do people think speed boosts in our launches should be removed? Right? And you'll know who it usually is? Old ass niggas that, that has never really been good at video games and you know they, they more outside niggas. You know, they they can't handle speed boosting. Like I was telling you before, speed gap equals skill gap. It's too much for them to keep up with. But then he says, What kind of basketball game do you got do you guys want? Now the old heads they fucked us up in 2K16. Y'all remember patch six? They took speed boosting out the game. Doesn't that sound crazy? But guess what? I played it, okay? I know a lot of y'all didn't play it, but I'll tell you right now, 2K16, even after that they took out speed boosting, 2K16, even without speed boosting, is 50 times better than every 2K after it. Isn't that sad? How the fuck can a game without speed boosting be better? Of course it was way better with speed boosting but yeah man that that's just it's crazy to me but y'all don't understand if they took out speed boosting people would just do a lot of different moves and still cook you it'll be a lot of more misdirectioning they'll find a certain they'll still cook you bro it'll just make the game more boring less people will be able to stand out and people will just not find enjoyment out of it the flash the all of this has been taken out of 2k because niggas keep bitching about not being able to to stop niggas but what they don't understand is they need to buff the defense not nerf the offense you nerf the offense then niggas can't stand out and be like looked at as like a god because everyone feels like they can do what you can do it's just like with the shooting if everyone can shoot why the fuck are they gonna think you're such a god because you can hit all your shots when they can hit all their shots? Oh, this kills content creation. This kills people good at the game and stuff. You know, of course there's some, but it's like, they're, this year more than none, people think they're better than you, bro. Like, they'll be looking at niggas' videos who they used to view as a god, and now they're they're thinking they can fuck with them now. They, they, they finally like, I, I, I can fuck, I can almost beat you, you know, type shit. And it, it's not good for the game. It really is. But then he says, it is simply an insane request. When they patch left, right, they did a good job in making acceleration make sense. I'm sure they'll improve it on 2K23, okay? Now, I did not like when they patched left, right. It makes the game, it made the game a lot more boring and just annoying and all of that. It shouldn't have been patched. It shouldn't have been touched defense should be buffed okay people should be able to do certain things to you crabbing shouldn't be in the game all types of different things they could do bro but it gotta go crazy i'm telling you that's what pulls the views bro think think of 17 when was the last 2k besides steezo steezo's the only nigga that could pull views on a mixtape bro like dead ass like that nigga's different but besides the last 2k where niggas was pulling views on mixtapes was 17 you want that you want someone to be able to put a bunch of clips together with someone dribbling crazy and it get fucking a million views, hundreds of Ks. You want that. That brings the artsy side and all them different, the trick shot and like, it brings that type of community to make your game popping and sell more. And look, that shit's not OP, bro. I've only had my, I barely have my ankles broke. Y'all don't know how to play D. You have to space out when they're finna activate it or get on the side or even hold your dick. I ain't never had to do it with holding my dick, bro. And back in 17 days, niggas was guarding ball. Niggas never broke my ankles because I'm a ball handler 
I know what niggas is finna do and I know how to not have it happen to me, man. Y'all have to learn how to play D. Like he can't just break your ankles if you're too far from him or on the side of him or you press at a certain time and you keep fucking up his movements type shit. Like there's a lot to it, you know? But yeah, man, when you look at the stage, every year, what is what has it always been? It's never been dribble gods. Dribble gods are ass. I'm sorry, I love you niggas. But they're ass. They're not good at the game, bro. They can't win versus the top comp players who play much more simply but effective. They do simple moves. They'll do one move. They'll, they'll, they'll be a little flat. They're a little flashy, but at the end of the day, they're scoring with one, two, or three. It's like, whoa, 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 shoot, whoa, 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 shoot, whoa, 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 shoot. Instead of the dribble guy that goes, you see, like, if, if a dribble guy didn't have all his moves, he would still cook a lot of you bum niggas. That's what y'all don't realize, bro. If a nigga killing you in 15 moves, he could kill you in three. If a nigga killing you in 30 moves, he could kill you in two, bro. That's just how it is. Y'all need to accept that shit, bro. But yeah, and I also think speed boosting is very real, bro. The quick first step is a real thing. There needs to be speed changes. There needs to be a burst. This is why it was even implemented. This is what this is not no exploit. It's implemented. It helps people be different from other players. And people can't just be seven foot guys kind of moving at the same, even though they kind of do. But, uh, you know, it, it's good for the game. It's realistic, man. Like, seriously. Quick first step, and then it creates a speed gap. Like, y'all think people should just be moving slow like that? I don't know what kind of game y'all would try to play, bro. That sounds crazy. But, um, anywho, uh, Badge Plug tweets out that 100k VC you get for pre-ordering 2K23, gonna get you like 72 overall this year. Watch, damn badge. You 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 know them devs gonna be mad at you. You better take this hoe down, nigga. But this is this is actually a real tweet, man. But it is good that someone with his following is is tweeting things like this. Y'all should encourage and really support when people go out their way to do stuff like this, man. Because eventually, man, you know they might lower it down in three years or something a little bit, you know. Like, but y y you gotta talk, bro. And all of y'all random people, you gotta talk. You gotta flame them every post. They don't like that shit. I'm telling you, bro. Even if you gotta copy paste some shit every tweet they do, you got to, bro. They are finessing us hey we love the game we gonna keep playing it no matter what and that's exactly why they doing it but at least make it hard on them attack they tweets dog i'm so serious every single tweet bro tell them something crazy about the game my guy seriously but yeah anywho um y'all be on the lookout for my next vid tomorrow man it's gonna be very important make sure y'all subscribe if you're new going to Keep y'all updated with 2K23, all the leaked news, all the best builds, jump shots, exploit builds, all that, man. The toxic, hilarious gameplay, all that. So, drop a like. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this for when this hit the fan. Everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.